Getting better SEO results from your Shopify store doesn't have to be time consuming or complicated. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to set up a blog right on your Shopify store and how you can optimize it and most importantly, get more revenue and traffic from your store. Stay tuned. Hey guys, uh, now we're over here at my computer and I just want to run through real quick um, how you can actually set up a blog um, through your Shopify store's admin. <clears throat> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to online store once I've logged in. And then I'm going to go to blog posts. And once I'm in blog posts, I am going to go to add a blog post. Now, if you haven't added any blog posts yet on your store, this will just be a screen that just sort of says add blog post. That'll be your only option. So um, we're going to go ahead and add a new blog post. And you're going to want to make sure that you switch the location to where you want it to go. So if you haven't created a blog, so the default is called news. Um, on Shopify store and the URL that that will show up on is um, your store name slash blogs slash news. Um, if you want to change that, you can go ahead and create a new blog. For now, we're just going to keep it at news. Um, you can also add tags. You can think of tags as sort of like categories, category links, uh, very similar to, you know, what you might see in a WordPress blog. Um, so you can do that. Um, you can add a featured image, which is sort of like the thumbnail in the blog row role page. Um, and you can also set a specific published date. So if you want to publish sometime in the future, um, then you can schedule this to be posted whenever you want. Um, so it, you'll notice here, this is very similar to anything you might see on WordPress. Um, you know, it's just standard WYSIWYG editor. Um, you know, so you can add a, a title here. So I'll just put a little title there. Um, you know, and this is where you put your body content. So now you can change the text, right? So you can, you can make some text headline. Um, you can change the color on text. So if you want to make it red or whatever color, um, you can do that. You know, there's a bunch of different formatting options for your text. So again, very similar to what you would see in WordPress. Um, pro tip here, you know, obviously you're going to want to make sure that you use, don't use headline one for any of your um, headlines in here. Obviously that's just a standard SEO tip. Um, for normal headlines, I'd recommend using heading two just for SEO purposes. Um, if you want to use heading three for less important headlines, that's fine. Um, but again, just any, you know, standard, um, you know, blog editor contents in there. Um, you can insert images in text. So this is really simple. Um, this is just single column um, stuff. You know, this is not, this is nothing in here is going to be super advanced. Um, but it, it gets you, you know, it gets you started in blogging and it's an easy way to kind of get started, um, you know, with your blog. Um, really important thing to keep in mind down here is the search engine listing preview. Um, this is where you're going to edit your SEO elements. So this is where you're going to want to make sure you're putting in um, a really captivating headline that helps you, um, you know, convert. So uh, clicks through search. So I see something like, you know, obviously something that's catchy. Uh, meta description, you want to make sure you're using your keywords. Now you want to make sure you're using your main keywords. You know, just your, just your uh, you know, run of the mill blogging um, controls. And then here, obviously, you can see the, the URL. So it's going to end up in the subfolder slash blogs slash news and then post name. That's the format. 
if you want to change this, if you don't really like the news and you think you'd like to change that to something else, like, you know, you can create a whole new blog category. Um, and you know, you can name that whatever you'd like, you know, for now, we're just going to go ahead and keep ours at news. And then when you make that change, it actually populates right there. And so this will actually be, once we publish this post, this will actually be our URL that will be live on the internet. So, um, you want to make sure that you're happy with this before you publish, obviously. Um, so that is, you know, that's, that's kind of the simple version of it. That's uh, Shopify's very basic, um, blog uh, section. Once you start getting some traffic to your store using the basic Shopify blog feature, you're going to want to take your content to the next level. That's where Shogun comes in. In this next clip, I'm going to show you exactly the type of content you can create on your blog using Shogun and how it can benefit and ultimately drive more revenue and sales to your store. Now that we've shown you how to you know, do very basic blog editing in the Shopify blog editor, I'm gonna jump over now to Shogun and show you the dynamic content that you can create on your blog using our page builder. So I've already downloaded Shogun, so it's right here. So I'll click on Shogun page builder. Got a little promo for our new features here. So I will click try now and then I will um, just exit out of this to go to our homepage. Now here in our homepage, you'll notice that I've got some pages that have already been published. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, create a new page. And I'm going to choose blog post as the page type. Okay, so instead of starting with a blank page, which is totally fine by the way, um, I actually prefer to start with a template. And so we've got a lot of great templates here in um, Shogun that come out of the box when you download Shogun. Um, since this is a guitar store, um, our sample store is Shogun Guitar. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'm going to choose this template because I think this template looks pretty interesting. And here in this section, you want to go ahead and assign a page name to, um, to this page. So I'm going to go ahead and call this our new blog. And I'm going to choose to assign it to the news. Um, I think that's that's fine for now. So we'll create a page. And Shogun here just takes a sec to load up. So we'll let that just load up there. And you know, here um, you'll notice the blog title is now populated. Um, along with the date um, and author name, and that can be you know edited, obviously. Um, so you know, what we're going to want to do now is we're going to want to just explore what you can do here in Shogun. You'll notice that we have multiple columns here. Um, we've got separators you can use. There's a lot more features here than would be possible with just these run-of-the-mill Shopify blog editor. Um, we really created this with content marketing in mind and SEO in mind when we when we built this out for Shogun. So I'm just going to run through a few of the, the different elements here and what you can do. Um, you'll notice this header header image here. Um, you know, I can do things like make this a full width image. So it fills the entire container. Um, I can really easily add overlays to the image. Um, I can, you know, align vertically, um, top, middle, bottom. It's a lot that you can do here um, with just a few clicks here with Shogun. It, it's, there really is a, a ton of different things that you can do. Um, so as we scroll down here, obviously, you know, we can edit the, the title um, and add, you know, our different text in here and whatever images you want, you know, they're, that are available. And here's the really interesting thing, guys. So for the, um, for this section, you can actually insert products within your blog post. Now this is super important because you want your content to rank well, but you also want it to actually drive sales for your store. So that's the main goal. Now with show we make it super easy to add your products to your content pages to help you actually drive more sales. 
So I'm going to go ahead and add um, our product here. And so what we're going to do is we're going to change the product. And I am going to search for the product in our store. Now with Shogun, we automatically pull in your catalog from Shopify. So you can actually find your products automatically in your Shopify store and easily insert them on a page. So I am going to insert here the Sunburst bass guitar. And I'm going to select the default title. And you'll notice that this now is populated with our product and the price um, and the add to cart button there. So this immediately creates a shoppable experience for your customers that end up on your blog. So, you know, here we're going to go ahead and change the product out here. We're going to search for more guitars that we have. And I'm going to add the Sunburst electric guitar with the default title. And you'll notice there that it's now populated with that new product. You know, we can kind of just go down the list here. Um, I'm going to change out this. We'll add another guitar in there. You know, maybe we want to throw in the, um, let's see, semi hollow 60 style. That sounds cool. So we'll add default title, confirm there. And you'll notice that these products then populate here. Um, so this is a really great way to drive more sales from your blog than you could just using the native Shopify experience there. So that, that's it guys. I'm not going to go too um, advanced into this, uh, this tutorial. This is just a very simple sort of overview. You'll notice here, you can have a section to drive these customers to previous posts or other recommended uh, content that you've created. Um, you can also drive them to a product page from here. Um, we've got social icons down here, um, back button. So you'll, you'll notice that we, you know, we, we also pull in your themes, um, header and footer to keep the styling consistent. So I'm not going to go over everything that, that Shogun can do right today, but I just want to give you this quick overview and show you what's possible, um, using our page builder. And, and if you want to take your, your content to the next level and drive sales, you're going to want to use something that's a little bit more advanced than the native, uh, Shopify blog experience. All right, guys, now that I've shown you what you can do with Shogun, I want to do, give you just a little bit of inspiration before we end this video. Here's what K-Swiss was able to do using just the Shogun page builder and no external coding. Now, you're not going to be able to do this right off the bat. It's going to take a little practice and a little design eye, but that's where we come in. In further videos, I will show you exactly how you can create this awesome, compelling content like brands like K-Swiss have with Shogun. Stay tuned for those. Until next time.